Hello and welcome to another video in the Burst How To series. This time I'll go through the Relate page in a professional space. Relate is a part of the end user data preparation process when using a professional space. It has two main functions. You define relationships between your data sources, the ones that you have imported and prepared in the previous steps. And you can assign columns as attributes and or measures. If you have done changes in your model and they haven't been published yet, you will be prompted to do a publish before using Relate. If you don't do this, it means, for example, that if you have new columns in your model, they won't be part of the Relate page and you can't use them to create relationships. And lastly, using the Relate page is optional, so if your data is good to go, you can go directly to Visualizer. I'm now in Burst, in my space. I've imported data, I've prepared it. If you need help with either of those steps, we have videos on those topics. On the left side of the screen are my sources. I have two raw sources I have imported and hidden, so they won't be part of the Relate page. And then I have three prepared sources where I have done some changes, modifications or transformations to the data. There are unpublished changes, so I have the small orange circle on the top right hand corner telling me I need to do a publish. I'm not going to do it here, we'll do it in the next step so that you can see the message that we get. So from the top bar, I'll click on prepare and then we go to relate. Here you can see the message. You have unpublished changes, please publish them before using relate. So I'm going to go and publish the data. So the data has been published and we can now get on with our relate functionalities. So first off, you have the sources bars on the both sides of the screen. So on the left, I can click on the gray bar. I get to see my sources and on the right, I can do the same thing. If I have a lot of sources, I can use the search bar to look for them. In this case, I don't. The three sources we have are fairly well visible on the screen. The relate functionality can be accessed in two different ways. So on the left side, we have the sources also on the right. And if I hover over a source, I get the actions available for me. So first off, I can edit column properties. And then if I click on the action arrow, I have the possibility of going back to prepare or creating a table join. Clicking on the source, we get to the other way of accessing the functionality. We have the model columns or edit column properties, prepare, so taking me back one step, and the possibility of creating a table join or a complex join in this case. We can now see the columns in our data. So let's go and edit the column properties. This is where you set something as a measure or an attribute or both. Let's go to the movie ID. In Burst, we often mark IDs both as a measure and an attribute. And the reason for this is so that you can do easy calculations on them. So for example, in this case, when we're talking about movies, if you want to calculate how many movies are in one genre or category, you can now easily do that when, when we have marked movie ID as both a measure and an attribute. Analyze measure is not available when using a professional space. It has to do with the generate dimensions and because we don't have dimensions in a professional space, the option is not available. Analyze by date requires a date to function. So let's go to release date. Using the analyze by date defines a column as a date to analyze measures against. This means the date becomes part of the burst inbuilt time dimension and you can use functionality like drilling down the time hierarchy with your measures. If you don't do this, then the date is just a piece of information, like in a billing report. In my example, the date is both an attribute and marked as analyzed by date. Please note that if you make changes to column properties, you will be prompted to do a republish. So let's do relationships. Movies is our main source of data. It's a listing of all the movies, their IDs and the year of release. Each row in this source is different, unique. It means each movie ID is there only once. This is a requirement for at least one of the sources in a relationship. If you don't have that, you will get an error message about many to many joins not being supported. Now if I click on movie ID and I don't have anything else chosen, Burst will show me the possibilities for a join. The recommendation is based on the data type. It's not based on the contents of the column. So what we have available here is movie ID in the movie genres table and then movie ID and user ID in user ratings. I'll do the join with movie genres. So I'm going to click on the movie ID. We'll get the join. 
I can edit the join type if I want to. I'm happy with the inner join we have, so let's save it. I can also delete the join. Now let's go back to movies and I'm going to do a table join. So in this case, to create a complex join. And obviously we have to go with user ratings because that's the other table we don't have a join with. This is a very simple example of a complex join, but we're using more than just a regular join between two columns. This is what you do using the table join option. The relationships have been done. From here, I can go directly to Visualizer to start creating reports. A publish is not required after defining a relationship or three. We went through how to modify column properties and how to create relationships in Relate when using a professional space. Thank you for watching.